Okay, so this is part 8 of my forum series. Um, now, in the last video, we, we mostly finished up the forum category page, um, and I was going to start on the topic page of this video, and we might still, but I, was, I, was, I created the blank topic page. It's literally blank. It was essentially the same code um, that the view cat page was when I created the blank one, but except it's actually got the ID already there. Um, but the thing I thought about, uh, what I thought about is we want to dynamically set our title um, for each of our categories and everything for each page that we load. So that's what we're going to do first, is we're going to dynamically set our title. So right here, um, after we have this, I'm going to put if, and this is get ID. So if get ID, then we're going to actually move this up here. Actually, I'm going to copy it, paste it, oops, so we're going to connect to the database and we're going to disconnect. So what we're going to do is so we're going to have a query, so select all from, and this is going to be forum underscore categories, where ID equals dollar sign get ID. So essentially, it's the same code we're running, or we're, we're yeah, the same code we're running to make sure that the category exists. And else, we're gonna say dollar sign title equals. Um, actually, we'll just say dollar sign title equals title. And I'm gonna change the title to forum category. Um, no. Uh, how about... Oops. Category not found. That'll work. So, oops, not category, or category not found. Or, we'll just category not found, whatever. So, we have category not found, so this if statement needs to be if numbers equals equals one. So, if the category is found, then we want to have our row variable, and that actually needs to be fetch sock, and we have our query inside. So we need to get this information right here out of the database. So we need our category name out of the database. And we're going to set the title to to dollar sign oops, to cat underscore name, and then we're going to have uh, let's say whatever your your forum title is. This will be uh, basic Nick forum. <laughs> category not found. And up here in the forum file, I'm also going to change this to basic nick forum. And I'm going to change this. I'm going to hit control X. And the reason I'm doing this is because um, I want to put a special character uh, in here. And I'll, I'll say what that char character is in a moment. Okay, so the special character that we're going to have, and whatever, I'll get to the topic page later. The special character that we're going to have, is there's an, it, it's not on your keyboard, but it's a special HTML ASCII value. And so what that, uh, that um, ASCII value is, is essentially like two small arrows pointing to the right. So to get that, you want to type in the and sign, so shift 8. And then you want to put in pound or hash, depending on what country you're in, 187, and then a semicolon. So that right there will give us our spe the special character that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here, and the forum file as well. And I'm going to upload both of these. So the cat file, that one. So if we refresh the page, 
you can see we have category not found and the two little arrows and then pushed over so that's what we want it to be set to but we don't want it or we do want it um, Oh, that's the problem. It's because we don't have our have the num rows. So num rows equals mysql underscore num underscore rows and query. And then upload the cat file. And then refresh. You see we have announcements and basic NIC form. Now you may want to change that to something else in there. Um, but that's entirely up to you. So yeah, now we're gonna actually start on the view cat file itself. So the first thing we're gonna do in there is set our. I'm essentially gonna copy all this code right here, and I'm gonna paste it in. And instead of category, I'm gonna change it to topic not found. And this will be. Um, we're gonna change this eventually. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it. Um, so it's gonna be topic not found and basic NIC forum. So what we want to do um, before we start coding anything else is we need to create the forum underscore posts um, database table. So we're gonna ahead and do that. So forum underscore posts. And if we go to our for the form.txt file I have, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we need 12 fields. <clears throat> so the first one is going to be ID. It's going to be a big int. Now you definitely want to set this to a big int, so that way you can have lots and lots of posts on your forum, which is kind of the point of a forum, to have lots of posts on it. Um, then we're going to have forum underscore name, or no, forum underscore title, or ID, and that's going to be an int. Then we're going to have forum underscore name, that's going to be a varchar of 250. And then we have cat underscore ID, which is going to be an int, cat underscore name varchar of 50. And we will have... Uh, topic underscore ID, which will be a big int, and we don't need a value. Um, topic underscore name bar chart of 250. And then after that, we have just some other information. So after we have all this, we need the user who posted and their user ID. So we actually need to add another field in here. So we're going to have user underscore ID which is going to be a big int. And then we have user underscore name, which is going to be a varchar of 50. And then we have the actual content that they posted, and we're going to set that to text and name it content. And then after that, we have the date they posted. So we'll just name it date varchar of 50. And we're going to have the time they posted, date, uh, which will be a varchar of 50 as well. And I'm going to add one more field at the end of this, <clears throat> and I'm going to name it IP, which should be a varchar of 50. So we're also going to store the IP address that a user posted, so yeah, um, and actually not IP, sorry, um, not IP, it's uh, active. So it's going to have an active value, which is going to be a bool signifying a, a true or false stat status. So whoever the moderator is or whatever, maybe an admin, maybe you want to make it so um, a specific post isn't shown, maybe it's it's irrelevant or you just don't want it shown or something, uh, mm -hmm. then we're going to have it active. So we're going to click Save. And after that, I'm just going to click Structure. So we have forum underscore posts. What we need to do is we need to go back to our view topic. And this is going to be topic underscore name. And we're going to select all from forum underscore topics. 
where ID equals get ID. We need to get our row, we need topic name, and we change this to topic underscore name. So we're getting our topic name and we're setting our title. So if we upload our view topic file and refresh, see we have form under construction, basic nick form. Now that's good and bad, but I kind of wanted to have the category in there as well. So we'll have um, the topic name and then we'll have the category name. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab cat name as a database and I'm going to copy this and change this to cat underscore name and upload. So we have form under construction and whoops, this needs to be cat name too. And that should fix it. So we have form under construction in the announcements and on the basic Nick form. So that's essentially going to be our title setup for all of our topics, or at least for all of my topics. Um, you may want to change that, whatever, it's up to you. Uh, not really important. But after we have that, um, later on, after we actually have the information inserted into the database, we're going to also get dynamic meta tags. Um, we're going to go back through and set dynamic meta tags for the entire forum. Uh, so, yeah. So what we're going to do is, down here, we're going to have a query. <clears throat> so our query is going to make it so we can check to see... God. So we can check to see that our topic is valid. So inside of here, we need to say select all from forum underscore topics uh, where ID equals dollar sign get ID. And then we're going to have our standard dumb rows. And, oops, and we have our query. And after our query, we need to have an if statement. And we're going to have an echo for our else. And we'll say uh, an invalid forum ID was provided. And that's just to keep the flow with everything else. So we need to say if dollar sign num rows equals equals one. So if num rows equals one, which means if it's found in the database, um, then we're gonna do whatever's in here. Now in this area right here, um, what we're gonna do is we need to get all the information from the database about the posts that um, every each topic has or the specific topic has. So we need to have another query. So this is going to be select all from forum underscore posts where topic underscore ID equals and this is going to be our get ID variable. Then we need to have num rows. And that actually needs to be num underscore rows, not query. Um, then inside of here, we have our query. So if OK, so our if statement is going to make it so we can check to see if there's actually post in the database, just in case something happens where when a topic's created, the post isn't inserted, or, or whatever. Uh, we just want to be safe about it. So if num rows is greater than zero, so if there's posts found in the database for the current topic, essentially what it's saying. Um, but we need to have an, el an else, so we're going to echo um, no posts were found Yeah, that works. So, yeah. So inside of here is where we're going to have a while loop 
that will make it so we can uh, get all the information from the database um, and then display it. But for now, I'm just going to echo good. So if we upload the view cat file, or not the view cat, the view topic file, and refresh, see we have no posts were found for this topic. And that's because our forum underscore post table is literally empty. Like there's nothing in it. So obviously the error message is appropriate. And this is why we put the message in, just in case something like this happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video uh, and pause the recording, and then I'm going to insert all the information for this specific, um, for this this post, for this topic. Um, so I'll be right back. And actually, instead of instead of um, pausing the video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, I will have all the information added to the database, and uh, and then we'll go on from there.